This video is going to be about how I power my gear in my studio and my shop and a little mini review on the Electronic 7 uh, USB power bank that I use to power my Panasonic GF7 Micro Four Thirds camera. My name's Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe and check out some of the other design and making videos that I have. Like this video about how I design, prototype, and resin cast a adapter for this old Letrojet air marker. Click below for a link to that video. I use a Panasonic GF7 uh, Micro Four Thirds Lumix uh, camera to shoot my stuff in my videos. I have been using a Canon S100 for a long, long time. I've had several um, Canon power shots. Um, and they've been great cameras. The one uh, that I have now, just the battery is horrible. It's never been good, actually. One of the thing, drawbacks of that camera. And the autofocus is really starting to uh, not work so good anymore. I needed something with a flip out screen and some remote capabilities. Uh, this Panasonic allows me to control the camera remotely from an iPad or a phone. It also has removable lenses, many, many features that the Canon just doesn't have. When you're shooting in a uh, studio or a shop environment like I do, your camera's gonna have to be powered. I mean, I, I see other YouTubers that just do everything on uh, battery power, but it just doesn't seem feasible because I, I need to do my work. So I bought this USB unit from Vitesun or made by Vitesun off of an eBay seller. And the link will be listed below. And it works quite well. I can um, replace the battery. Little cable sticks out. And uh, pop in this little unit. Comes out the battery holder. And I can power this thing. And it works quite well. So I'm using to do this a um, iPad Pro charger. The the 12 watt unit, the 10 watt unit will not work. Um, since I've tried it, and uh, this is the way to go. So this works really good. Um, plugs in, and I can power my camera pretty much anywhere. So, you know, at first I thought, oh, this USB thing, what the heck? That's that's kind of weird. Um, but it works pretty good, um, and it also has additional benefits, and I'll show you what those are. Real quick, before I show you what those are, I just want to mention that the seller also sells these adapters for other units like Canons and Nikons and stuff like that, so you can check it out and see what he's got. Before I share this uh, USB power bank with you, I want to be really transparent. I did get the unit for free in exchange for doing this review. I do like the unit, um, and it's something I use all the time. In case you're wondering what the Chinese writing says, it says Electronic 7, and that's the name of the company that makes the unit. Now this unit has a couple uh, USB ports, a little flashlight, and you put in some 18650s. Powers my uh, camera, no problem. Works quite well. It also has adjustable voltage that can go uh, up and down, and you can change that with the one button. Uh, but the output is here. It can go up to 13 volts, so it allows me to power other things in my studio as well besides my camera. There's two USBs, and I use the one with the 2.4 amps. This gives me uh, 2.4 times uh, 5 volts. That gives me the 12 uh, watts, just like I get out of the uh, iPad Pro um, power supply, and it powers my camera. The unit's powered by five 18650 rechargeable um, batteries. I purchased some Panasonic 18650s. They're 3400 milliamp hours and they power my gear no problem all day. So I did modify the cover here in the back a little bit. I cut a little bit of the uh, tab off there so it was a little bit easier to snap on and off. It's quite difficult if you don't do that. Um, but I felt I wanted uh, a little bit better access to the batteries. Most of the time, they're probably just going to be in there. You're not going to swap them out, but I, I made it a little bit easier to uh, to go ahead and do that by trimming off the little tab. Now, one of the bonuses of this uh, USB power supply is that you can change the voltage uh, all the way up to 13 volts. I'm just going to quickly uh, step through the voltages here and uh, how you do this. You press on the button, and it lets you go up or down and then successfully press the button to uh, increase uh, or decrease the voltage 
I'm just going to take it up to the 13 volts. It's a little bit tough to see here. You can read it better in real life. It's a little tough on uh, camera. So the whole thing works pretty good. You just plug in the USB here, power the camera. Not an issue. Works quite well. I have absolutely no uh, qualms about that. So one of the things that this unit cannot do, however, though, is it cannot be plugged in and, and charging at the same time while it's running the camera. So it would be ideal to be able to plug this thing in, and um, but you cannot do that. There's some sort of safety built into it. So as soon as you plug in the power supply to charge up the unit, it shuts off the unit. I would be super handy to have it charged all the time and then just be able to unplug it and then move it around the studio, but uh, it doesn't work that way. The unit does come with a little instruction that sort of tells you how to operate. So in my shop, if I have uh, power close by, uh, I would plug the unit in. I wouldn't use the battery power, and this is what that looks like, um, and that works quite well. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Rock on. Click here to watch some of my other design videos. And if you'd like to have your music featured in one of my videos, send me a message. I'm always looking for great new music to feature in my videos.